Okay, so it is going on day three. I am still in extreme pain. I was waiting for a doctor all day yesterday and day before. Still waiting for a doctor to come check my leg out. I don't know why I cannot put any pressure on my leg. I don't know why I cannot leave my left side. I don't know why I'm in pain. I don't know what happened. I'm getting annoyed, frustrated. I have a wristband that says that I cannot have fish or mushrooms. They have tried giving me mushrooms three times. They have tried giving me clam chowder twice. I'm getting irritated and frustrated because on top of the fact that I, it's setting in. I may not be able to use my left legs again. I'm also trying to advocate for myself and nobody's listening. I feel like a nuisance and I'm getting annoyed. Okay, so I've been in here for a week. I have lost mobility on my left side. I cannot move my left leg from my knees to my feet. I can't uh, move my right, my left arm. I can't lift my finger. I just left. I'm getting an MRI. Um, I'm waiting to see a neurologist. I haven't had a feeling on my left side in two days. And this is the first time I'm getting checked out. I told them, I asked if they could change my IV yesterday and they refused. Um, I had a bad allergic reaction to some medicine that was supposed to help me pee. Um, and they gave me an emergency shot, and that's where things went left, went wrong in my left arm. Um, today makes a week that I've been here. My uh, phone batteries are going low, and I only have um, a little bit of memory left on here. So I'm trying to do check-ins when I can um, to keep my papa updated and to keep a log of what's going on because I'm not getting, um, I'm not really being heard or getting a lot of attention here and I've also lost my voice. It is July 1st, that's all the news information. I got here last Saturday night and I haven't pooped in a week and I have to get decathetered every six hours. I was wondering how I had any further stuff on this memory card because it was full and when I just checked when I went to my MRI there was a video that was deleted that I had here um, when I first got admitted into the ER where they were checking me in so someone went through my purse while I was away from it doing my MRI because they knew I'd be gone for a while and they deleted my video. Exhausted. I feel like giving up hope because everything keeps coming back normal. But I don't know why I cannot use my left side or why I can't use the restroom on my own. And I'm just getting poked all day. It's so painful. Personal training was so hard today. I only had one person. And I tried so very hard. I almost threw up. And then went into intense antagonizing pain. And this day seven, I still have not pooped. I cannot pee on my own. I can't poop on my own. I can't stand on my own. I can't do shit on my own. And it's been a week pretty much since I've been able to. And I've been having to teach myself how to cope and ask for papers to write to help my mental state because nobody gives a fuck at the fact that my entire life is changing right here in front of their eyes. They just pull the curtain across and act like I'm not here. Oh, and I've been given blood thinners that I've been getting shot into my right arm to try to prevent a blood clot. Though my left leg has not been looked at and there's visible veins that are more obvious in my left leg than my right. I've had an MRI of the brain, the lumbar, the spine, my whole torso, but my left leg that I cannot put pressure on, that is so hard for me to stand, my left arm 
They cannot move. There's no skin. But I've had MRIs. But there's nothing of my fucking legs. As you know, the nurse came over to help the patient on the other side. And they had enough nerve to huff and puff. The eye over on this side was crying. I think you would be crying too if you were able to walk in here. And since being in here, you can't walk. You can't pee or poop on your own. You lost your voice. Your job is a personal trainer, which means you use your body to help motivate people. And you can no longer do that because you can't even stand on your own. I have a podcast do YouTube and make music and I can't do any of that because I don't have my voice. I think you'd be crying too. You can walk out of here and go do whatever you want on the other side of that door. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here at the beck and call waiting for everybody who acts like I don't exist. So I am sorry if my fucking tears are bothering you, lady. Also, did you know that there's no actual doctors in the hospital? It's just a bunch of nurses who just read a bunch of charts and just poke you up with a bunch of pain medicine to shut you the fuck up so that I don't have to actually deal with you. And then you wait day after day after day to be seen by a doctor. No one knows when the doctor's coming. We don't even know if the doctor's actually coming this day because I was told yesterday the doctor was coming. I was told the day before yesterday that the doctor was coming. I'm told today the doctor's coming. It is now afternoon. The doctor's still not here. So what's the point of a hospital full of a bunch of nurses who can't tell you anything? Because the nurses aren't allowed to tell you anything on your chart. Only the doctors can. I've had every MRI possible. I've had chest x-rays, everything. And nobody can tell me my results because I have to wait on the doctor. And I've been here for a week and not one doctor has seen me to go over any of my results. But I've had almost every scan possible done in this hospital. I'm getting frustrated because I have no answers as to what went wrong. And because I have no answers, they don't know what to say, so they're ignoring me. And they're just acting like it, I'm just going to wake up one day and be able to walk. I guess like I woke up one day and wasn't able to walk. Like that's not how it works. Like the pain medicine they gave me to help me use the restroom. Because I was told some of the side effects of the medicine they gave me was I wouldn't be able to use the restroom later. And gave me two brown pills. I had that reaction. I told her immediately up in the ICU. I told her she had to give me an emergency shot on my left arm, which felt like I was fucking dying because there was so much adrenaline and such a sharp pain. It ran up my left arm into my chest and left me gasping for air that caused me to pee myself, or as they call it in the hospital, soiled myself at the same time, meaning I lost control of being able to hold my pee because that's how much pain my body was in and that's how much my chest felt like it was caving in and I haven't been able to use my left side since. They keep saying that a stroke is rolled out but why can't I lift my left leg? Why can't I lift my left arm? All the results are coming back fine. Everybody keeps telling me I'm too young to be going through this. Yeah, here I am at 32 years old, unable to walk, use the restroom or do anything by myself. There needs to be coping mechanisms for the nurses to help when patients are going through really hard stuff mentally because the way they handle it makes you feel worse. It makes you feel worse at the fact that you can't do anything on your own and you have to be relying on them and they're telling you you're too young to be going through this. No fucking shit, Sherlock. You think I want to be sitting here waiting on everybody? No, I was happy being able to do whatever the fuck I wanted to do, whatever the fuck I wanted to do it. This is torture. having pain in the middle of my chest. When I drink water, I press the nurse button, but because they can't hear my voice on the thing, she just hangs up and doesn't send help, so the button's pressed, but nobody's responded. Okay, I can't do a long update, but after, they came in and checked my arms and stuff. There's still no update as to what went wrong. 
But these people had enough nerve to try to tell me that they were going to send me to a nursing home because there's nothing that they can do. No telling me what's wrong, no update as to what happened, no reason as to why I can't walk. But they were just going to just send me away to a nursing home. So I am trying to dig deep and fight for my rights because this is getting out of hand. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. I'm smiling for the first time in about 10 days. I was able to pee and poop on my own for the first time in a week. So I just had to do that because this face is a face of pure satisfaction, joy, and very fucking proud of myself for standing up and advocating for myself. So. Okay, so I got discharged from the hospital. Um, the landlord is not helping me get inside the house, and I actually cannot walk on my own. Literally, the lift driver helped me, like, carried me to sit me down on the porch. Okay, so I have been really calm and chill and patient all day. I haven't pressed the button because I don't like asking for help. I don't like feeling like a nuisance. And now I'm being denied the fact that I can't even get help to use the restroom. Literally the nurses are telling the other nurses not to help me, not to talk to me, not even to walk in my room to even help me pee.